Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And you might notice I have some doors on my hanger now. Hanger doors, even. And, um, uh, yeah, I did that off camera because it was a horrible pain to actually get this set up semi properly. And I added some turret slots as well. And those are too close. I think those are too close, too. Uh, we will cross that bridge when we get there. I also modified this room. I added a button. This button opens the doors. And it also has a stray block there. It also closes the doors. I mean, it's amazing. I do not have this wired up to be overrun by um, lockdown. I probably should, though. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do that today. So let's unwire that and that needs to go okay. So let's let's grab the ant. Wire oh what what are actually what are you? Oh, I know what you are. You need to go away. I had a Debug button out here. There we go. And let's go snag the not for lockdown. That's code red. This is lockdown. So let's grab the, the activator tied to the not for lockdown. Why is it an activator tied to the not for lockdown? This way it gives me wireless logic. Let's, let's plop that there. And let's do... This number here. Actually, let's do this number here. And there. And what have I done? I hit X instead of C. It's amazing how many times I do that. Then that's going to feed into there. All right. And this is going to feed into the button. So now I should be able to... Oh, cycle your logic, JW. So now that just closed all my doors. All right, that's just fine. So that is and that is is this not? Yeah, there we go. Ah, wonder was I guess didn't cycle my logic enough. Okay, what's going on here? Oh! It's still tied to that flip-flop, duh. There we go. See, always test your logic, because you've done something wrong. Alright, so, now that we have this set up, so now it works with lockdown, uh, let's explain some of it. It is two big doors, so let's close them first. Uh, they're two big doors. They have a couple, well, they had two lighting strips, but they were, one lighting strip was removed because reasons. Probably need to put it back up. And also, you might notice some USDs on it. And they're kind of thick. It is, I believe, three layers of advanced and a layer of, of uh, standard going across the whole thing. So it's not a, uh, not a little door. So let's pop this open, and I have these nifty little tooth things. Now, what I'm thinking with this design, you might be thinking, it's going to be hard to drive like that? Well, you're not going to be driving with the doors open. Well, you might be driving with the doors open. But this also provides a uh, shield. What do you mean a shield? Well, um, provides a shield. Uh, that's quite a bit of armor, plus the 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 um, shields on it. I didn't notice I was in this pretty purpley, ready blue. Anyway, uh, for ships that are taking off and landing, there's this thing. So in the weird maneuvering to get out of here, they're not going to get shot up from the side. So it adds a little extra protection. 
This also allows these extension docks. I have not tried these. That's what I was going to do with you today is to test these extension docks. To see if they, they um, do good things or bad things. But I was thinking yeah, that having these doors up, it gives more of a shield. Also, I can redirect or reposition these turrets, too. This is just, I don't know if I'm going to keep this design, but it's a design I thought up and thought, hey, why not try it? Of course, it leaves all this nice and empty and open, so probably not using this in battle. But having these nice heavy armor plates, probably a good idea. And also the extenders. So let's um, save this blueprint. It's a B43 by now, I believe. And let's pop these up and let's hop into one of them. Woo! All right. So, uh, wow, it's it's oriented like this. So this is kind of strange. So let's pop in. I don't know. Um. Um, how about a box shuttle? And then I'll let's pop it in as looking at all the you and then the all right, there we go. So I have a box shuttle. Now the door's not gonna close anymore because there's something here. But it's a way to carry something. Say if everything here's full, that has a shuttle in it, those two are docked. And I need more docks. I have four extra here. And let's try ah let's try something a little bigger. How about how about a cutter? Oh that will oh that's the old cutter, the box cutter. That will comfortably fit a box cutter. I need to redesign the box cutter. That is an interesting looking ship. But yeah, that will hold it. Let's see about oh, the box cutter. Did it have? It only had one airlock. Now they're going different directions. Just, just because. Let's see what about? What about a um? Ember class Corvette. I can dock an Ember class Corvette to the store. So if I need to carry extra battleships, or battleships, extra ships, then uh, I can. Destroy entity dock. And let's get rid of you as well. And how about you? Let's try something a little bigger. Now, port side docks. I'm gonna to want to park on the, or the starboard side docks are gonna park on park on the starboard. Uh, what about my Inferno class frigate? Will that fit? Oh, cool! If as long as I keep, well, we're gonna hop here. As long as we keep um The armor here, ooh, no, that did not. That does not fit properly. That actually digs into the, into the thing. Uh, but we could dock it here, maybe, so it'll fly upside down, but still. Ooh, and then we'll get there. Nope, that still clap. Uh, it still clips into the. Bottom of it. Oh. That's kind of sad. And it also goes into the bridge. Uh, where's mine? There we go. So it can't quite fit a a frigate, but it can fit a a um, Corvette. So I can. I have the Corvette in the back, and I need to carry a couple others. I actually out of pure curiosity, how many of these things can we cram in here? Ooh, that's not good. So we're gonna well, I don't probably could get away with it, but I don't want to because it's yeah, it's 
you're not going to be able to dock that naturally. So which way is it this way? There. So, I like that. The doors won't close like this. I want they close because uh, this pokes above them. Could drop on that a little, but it still won't close because it's also longer than the than the door. Not by much, though. The insane part of my brain said, "Make the hanger longer so you can close with two Corvettes or two, uh, yeah, two Corvettes on your doors." No, I'm not going to do that. But interesting, if we have Corvette-sized ships, we can use this basically as a carrier, not as a dedicated, but if I was jumping into a battle zone and I needed to and have my landing ships in here, a couple fighters, and then deploy a couple corvettes, let them take off and do their thing, and then of course I have the one in the rear. Right, I think that's kind of neat. So let's set my nav filter on. Oh, no, let's see which one of these is the actual. There we go. And which one of these is the actual? There we go. And now let's turn off docked entities because that's a pain to look at. Right. So I think I like this design. But the doors gives me the extra, extra parking. In fact, we might add a few more to give more versatile parking. Maybe even... Oh! Oh! We could. We could do this. Uh, load and paste. No, no, no. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's a Corvette. This is pure madness. Madness. This is 608. All right. With my pure madness, how many of these things can I fit in here? Uh, that could be pointing straight up. Looks like it takes three slots. So, this one maybe? Yeah, and one, two, three, this one, and then <laughs> I could carry six frigates, or frigates, I could carry six, uh, six Corvettes like this. All right, I'm sold. We're going to have <laughs> these as well, and so let's see, that's going to be what, uh, is that a... Uh, Six by six? No, but it's close enough. It's a five by five. Just get rid of these ones here that are not docked anything. All right. Ah, ah. This is glorious. So... I'm turning my battleship into a makeshift carrier. Right. I need to do the same on the other side. And of course, they'll, they should be wide enough to, to fit, but let's see. Let's bring her around, and I don't even, I don't even know dimensions or anything like that. I'll work on that later. Oh, no, we might do something different on this side. I don't know. I, well, they're probably going to replace those so everything's nice and even. But just proof of concept. These multi-use utility doors. Got turrets on the outside, corvettes on the inside. So, instead of now taking one corvette with me on my little hangar, I can carry seven of them undock these guys and away they go. Now these, the Ember class, they're more scout ships than anything else, but we could probably design a, an assault corvette or a, 
probably a salt cutter or a salt ship that will set on the in fact we might do that instead of um instead of using this ship and specifically the cutter because it's the cutter for me in the 608 fleet is a scout ship there's also not wedge strike there but i'm fine with that it's a scout ship so well let's custom design a ship to set on these doors so this can essentially be a carrier of course we'll have to wire up logic and all that nonsense but hey okay. I think I like that idea. Ooh. Where am I? Upbeat. And... Well, this isn't good. Oh. Yeah, I, I did bad. I, um... I think I'm still in that Corvette. Yeah, I think I'm still on the Corvette. It, I if I had F8 too soon. We all right. That was fun. So now I have a direction. I'm gonna probably pull the rest of these off as well as these docks. So gonna leave room on these doors, probably just the way they are. And then later, the next ship we work on will be. Well, in fact, we might even work on it in the interim. We might even work on it off camera, but uh, it will be a little assault vessel. Just uh, attach here on these doors we can carry in. I like that. Anywho, I have been JW608. This has been Starmate. I'll dig cats later.